guys, today I want to share with you my August favorites. So I've been kind of loving like the same usual favorites that I've been loving for a couple months now. Um, and there were only a few things that I feel like were really different than the past few months that um, were kind of like surprising that I, I really like these more than what I've been loving. Basically <laughs> what I mean is I didn't have like a huge volume of new stuff that I've really been loving um, that you guys haven't, that you don't already know about, um, that you don't already know that I love. So this one's going to be short and sweet, but you know, that's okay. It's okay that um, sometimes there's a lot, sometimes there's not a lot, um, but I did want to just like share with you guys what I did love. Without a doubt, my favorite thing recently has been the Revision Skincare Black Mask. Um, this mask has just transformed my skin. My skin used to have so many issues, basically it was never clear. Um, and then I've been using this mask like uh, twice a month for the past, I don't know, a couple months. And the main reason why it stood out to me this time is because um, I had run out of this. And normally I pick this up at the same place I get facials every now and then. But I looked on Amazon and they sold this. And so there was some issue with um, the shipment and it took forever to get here. So basically, um, it had been a really long time since I got to use this. Um, and I can't remember if I already said this, but I use this about twice a month. And so by the time that it actually got here, it ended up being like the second time that I would have actually used it. So I missed like a full half a month without using this. And um, I also use like a topical serum that exfoliates my skin. So one day I noticed that like my forehead was like peeling, like I had obviously used too much of this. And I was thinking like, shit, I used too much of that. What am I going to do? Um, I'll just probably, I don't know, put some lotion on, stay away from the serum for a while. Um, but then this came in the mail that night, so I was able to use this that night and the minute that I took it off and rinsed my face, my skin was like a thousand times better. Like, I, it's like I had new skin, like it was so soft and like, it just felt like it was perfect, like there was nothing wrong with it and that, that has not been the case since like I was 12 or 13, like that's how long I've had skin issues and so the fact that I hadn't used it for so long, it was so clear to me that this really makes such a difference on my skin and it exfoliates it so well without it being harsh. And so I really recommend this to anyone that just like wants a really good um, mask. But anyway, okay, this is Revision Skincare, Black Mask, blah, blah, blah. You can get it on Amazon. To go with my kind of skincare theme, um, I've been loving to wear a little less makeup sometimes and just make sure that like you use like a lot of sunscreen and lotion and make your skin look really good. I've been loving the primer by Hourglass, the Veil Mineral Primer. It's oil free. This doesn't irritate my skin at all, it doesn't clog any pores. It goes on so, um, so softly, I don't know, it's just like a, I said this before like a year ago, it's like going to a spa when you use this. It's just one of those makeup products that like remind you like why you love makeup and why it's like fun and, and I love trying out new products. It's products like this. Um, so definitely if you're looking for a primer that makes your fins <laughs> your fin that makes your skin feel good when you use it and you like you look forward to using it, definitely check out the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. I wonder if they have any other primers because I don't think I've tried any of hourglasses besides that one and I freaking love that one. So I'm sure I'll love any other primers they have. I'm gonna go on the Sephora website right now after this and check it out. Okay, and lastly on my skincare type theme. This isn't skincare, but it's concealer. And I love the idea of just putting on some concealer instead of doing a whole foundation thing. And this collection, Lasting Perfection, um, is such a good concealer because it really is like such high coverage, but it blends so quickly. 
Um, and you can get this from Amazon too. I just love how like petite it is. You can just dot it around, boop, 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 boop. And then you just quickly like blend it all in. I just love that so much. Um, the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer also is really high coverage, but I feel like it takes me forever to blend that in. Um, so this for me is just like my favorite concealer um, that is high coverage. I also love the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer, but I feel like that's a little bit more sheer. So on days when I don't want to wear foundation, I love to use this to have that kind of in-between high coverage. My go-to eye look for the past month has been the Becca Ombre Rouge Eye Palette. Um, this has five little um, shades. And you can see I've hit pan on uh, two, almost three of those. But this shade right here, this kind of like caramel brown, is just wonderful to just wash all over my lids and put in the crease. On days when I want to try a little bit more, um, or I have enough time, <laughs> then I can kind of take my time and I didn't wake up late. Um, I always use that caramel brown in the crease, but then I always, I put these two shades here, this like taupey color and then this lilac light purple color. I wash those over my lids too. So I always start with this light one under the brow bone. I kind of drag it down over the lid um, to set the primer. And then I sometimes use those two colors and then um, this in my crease and then this dark purple I'll use in the outer V. Sometimes I just do the caramel all over the lid in the crease and then the purple and leave out those ones. Um, it's kind of, I love mixing and matching. I love the warm tones. And I think these are all matte shades too. Yeah, I think they are. So I love that whole matte neutral look, but the warm tone really just, that's my jam these days. Like I love a warm, neutral, matte eye look. I just love that so much because it can go with any kind of lip you want to do, you know? And I love how like it's just this little palette that's so easy to travel with. Um, I really want to try the other, there's another Becca, like ombre called type thing, um, palette, but it's not, um, it's not warm toned, it's like cool toned. And I've been kind of away from the cool toned for a minute, but I think I want to check the cool toned out because I just love how sleek that palette is and just like five colors, really simple. Um, so yeah, I definitely recommend that palette. It's perfect for every day. I was reading, I think it was Allure magazine, one of those, you know, magazines, um, and it was talking about like their favorite like drugstore makeup, and they had mentioned this Maybelline Great Lash Mascara about how like it had been around forever and it was everyone's favorite, um, and I remember that this has indeed been around forever. I remember when I was like. I don't know, in middle school, and me and my friends were first kind of discovering makeup. And I remember one of my friends had this like huge tower, like organizer of makeup, and she always would use this mascara. I didn't really discover mascara until I was like in high school because it would always kind of get on my, um, like under my eye throughout the day, and it would always be like, I don't know, for some reason it would always get under there. Now that doesn't happen anymore, but it did, so I would stay away from it. But I remember she always used to use this, but I had never tried it. And then when I saw in the magazine, like, oh, everyone loves this, this is such a classic, I was like, you know what? I've never tried that, I should try it. And I actually really love this. The wand reminds me so much of the um, Charlotte Tilbury wand. I think theirs is called like, um, like fat full lashes or something. But this is so easy to like just do a nice quick coat of mascara and it's not clumpy at all and I just really love this mascara. I do love, you know, the clumpy type types of mascara as well. That's actually what I've been loving lately. But I do love this for like a clean look too. It's nice to have that to do too. Sorry, I got the mascara on my hand. Oh well. Last but not least, um, I love this uh, Tarte Lip Paint 
Um, it doesn't say it on this, so maybe it does. Yeah, and birthday suit. This is a liquid uh, lipstick, and it's a mini one because at Sephora, when it's your birthday month, they give you a free gift, and you can choose between two different gift sets. I got the Tarte one, so it's like a mini blush and um, this mini liquid lipstick. And this is such a good neutral. It's like a, a pink, um, mauve color, and I just love this. And I don't even mind that it's little, because how often... I don't really run out of liquid lipsticks that much. I can think of like maybe one that I'm kind of running low on. Normally it's like lipstick. I run down because you're like pushing it onto your lips, but for liquid lipstick, I haven't really run out, so I feel like this is going to last me a while. And um, I really love the formula. It doesn't feel drying at all. It lasts a really long time. I just, it looks, I just think it looks really nice. So definitely try this out if you like liquid lipsticks. So those have been my August favorites. I keep wanting to say July because I don't even know what friggin' month it is anymore, what day it is. Um, but I have just wanted to say that I've missed filming videos so much. I always love sharing, you know, what I've been loving in beauty and makeup recently with you guys. Um, I think it's so cool that we can kind of just have this community where we talk to each other about like something we tried out or something like we want to try or how we apply something. Um, it's just always so fun to share that with you guys. And hopefully I can make more videos um, sometime in the future. I'd really just love to be able to do that more. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you have an amazing day or night wherever you are. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.